What if I told you that just by using meaningful HTML tags like article, nav, and header, you can go and up your rankings in search engines, make your website more accessible, and just have a better development experience? This is the power of semantic HTML. In this video, I'll explain to you what semantic HTML is, its advantages over its non-semantic counterpart like div, and why you should start using it today. So let's get into it. Hey program peeps, my name's Michael, and welcome to Web Dev Dynamite. A channel that aims to go and help people become better at web development and also so that I can learn something along the way. Today's video, we'll be talking about semantic HTML and the three reasons why you should be using it in order to make the web better today. So let's jump into what semantic HTML actually means. So to talk about semantic HTML, the first thing we need to understand is what does semantics mean in programming? So semantics, according to the MDN docs, refers to the meaning of a piece of code. So in JavaScript, we'd speak about what is the purpose of running this line of JavaScript? And in HTML, what is the role of an HTML element in the grand scheme of things? So essentially what semantic HTML means is essentially just HTML that conveys meaning. So semantic HTML can put into two categories, layout tags and text tags. Layout tags would refer to header or footer, which are used in the main layout. And text tags would refer to things like the common P tag or the abbreviation tag, which are used to give text meaning within a document. So talking about the abbreviation tag, it has a title attribute, which you can put in for the actual full definition of what the abbreviation is. That will then give a handy little tooltip when the user hovers over it, which is pretty handy. So at this point, you're probably asking, Michael, what's the actual real advantage of using semantic HTML? Well, the three main advantages are better SEO, more accessibility to everyone, and also just more consistent code in general. So let's jump into the first one, which is better SEO. So search engine optimization, or SEO as we've been calling it, refers to optimizing your site in order to appear higher in search engines like Google or Bing, for the people that use Bing. <laughs> These search engines use web crawlers. These crawlers will look through your lovely HTML and decide what is actually useful here. So when you use semantic HTML, it tells web crawlers what to focus on, which increases the likelihood of you being found in search engines. But the question is, what is the use of actually having these searches if no one can use them? This is where accessibility comes into play. The definition of accessibility in the Cambridge Dictionary refers to the quality of being able to be used or entered by everyone including people who have a disability. Semantic HTML helps in this sense. Since semantic HTML is essentially just HTML of meaning, it helps accessibility tools like screen readers actually understand what's going on in your site more than divs or spans. The difference between using a div with a click listener on it versus using an actual button tag is immense for someone who is visually impaired. You wouldn't be able to navigate properly to a div versus actually using the button tag, which you will be able to go and navigate to using a tab and click using enter. I'll show you this later on in a demonstration. By using good semantics, a screen reader can easily navigate your site, making it easy for someone who might have been struggling at a previous site with bad semantics to get in the information they need. So I will now demonstrate to you what the difference is. So heading over to future mode. Thanks boss Mike. We've got our lovely bad HTML semantics, and I've got another file over here, which is for good HTML semantics. I'll be using the built-in voice demonstrator from Apple in order to do my demonstration today. And so let's just move forward with that then. Cool. So you'll see over here, I mean, immediately at first glance, I'm looking at all of this over here. I definitely don't know what any of these specific things mean. So. I mean, me looking further in, I can tell that this is headers, and but I don't necessarily know what the actual sort of purpose of them is. So I'm going to be activating the screen reader now, so you hear the voice. Voice on Brave, bad semantics HTML, Brave window, okay. bad and semantics you can HTML, that it's selected tag describing group. to us. You are currently on a selected tag group. And for the demonstration, you can see already. Bacon. We'll be able to you select the text element inside where content will explain, to exit this way. Explain a bit further what control, option, does. Shift, up arrow. In and we're gonna content, go back into Bacon content Bacon. and we're gonna go and see what it's actually gonna tell us. So you can Bacon. hear Bacon Ibsen dollar amid strip state T bone meat wall meat run. 
Run short loin brace a strongy. A strongy pork chop pig. You are currently on a chicken. Yeah, so you can already hear I don't actually know what any of these things are. So if my eyes were closed right now, I wouldn't be able to tell what's a header and what is actually the paragraph over there. And then we have the click. And you can really see I can't actually use the click listen now. Whereas if I could see it, I would just click and I would get the actual going alert. So we're trying to, to make sure that someone who has no access or is visually impaired that they will be able to go and use this page. So now I'm going to head over to the Good Semantics over here. Okay, so I've navigated to the Good Semantics page now and immediately you can already see the, the HTML body and I already know that it's an article because of the tag that's being used. I can see where my header structure is, that these are all paragraphs and I can see that the button tag is being used. So immediately I can I can go and see and that kind of moves to the point of better more consistent code that you can look at at a glance so now I'm going to show you what the difference it makes on an actual screen reader voice over on brave good okay. semantics html bacon okay. you are currently bacon. on a heading level one <laughs> okay so we're gonna and you can already see like the difference over there it's already describing what level header it's on so we're just going to move our friend over here and we're going to article you there are currently go. on an article. So you can already hear it actually describing the article and giving us more context as to what's going on there. Bacon we, you are currently on we actually understand two. what our different headers you are, are where the headers are. It will read two. the Run. paragraph tags. It will tell us that these two. are headed in level 2 store. And that's kind of the importance of using the right heading tags as well as you're going on and you're structuring your site. So, chicken article. the last thing over here, we can tell where the end of the article is, and also where the click here button is. So button. now that we're actually using you a button tab, we can actually go and see content. that if to we click now button, with our end option, option, if we space, hit our end key now, we're immediately window, able to get in there. And it describes the entire alert. So that is the power that semantics has on a screen reader. So you can tell, even with the good semantics example, I'd be able to turn the screen and at least understand more what's going on on the page. And that is so powerful. Thanks, Boss Mike. Off to you. Thanks for that demonstration, Future Mike. So now getting to our final point. How does Semantic HTML actually go and make your development experience better? So Semantic HTML makes your code easy to read and just a pleasure to look at. So I'm sure we've all been in the situation. You look through site's code and you have to look through all these divs and class names just to figure out what a specific tag does. So with Semantic HTML already having that meaning attached, means that you can look at a header tag and already know what it's actually meant to do. Whereas if you looked at a div at the top, you would maybe assume that it was a header, but also you might have to go and decipher a class name. Semantic HTML also makes styling a breeze. So usually you would have to go and target a specific div with a specific class name. With Semantic HTML, you'd be able to just use a header or an article and style that accordingly. This means low specificity because you're aiming towards a tag and on your styling. So semantic HTML has many advantages over using just divs and spans. The ones we spoke about in this video were better SEO due to crawlers knowing where to look for information, better accessibility because semantic HTML has meaning and therefore a screen reader will be able to go and use it. And also better code by using more meaningful tags that are easy to target and a pleasure to look at. So why not use semantic HTML today to superpower your site? Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate you making it this far and I hope you found the video helpful. This is my first video. I appreciate if you would go in the comments and say what you liked about the video or maybe just ideas for future videos. My aim really is to make web development more exciting to all, to teach and also to learn from everyone out there. So please tell me if I was making any good points, maybe if I missed anything and also if I was just talking complete nonsense, <laughs> let me know please in the comments. Thank you so much for watching again. Looking forward to hearing from you all. I hope you have a great day and may your code be the bomb. Bye.